Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In today's tutorial, we'll split PDFs using Power Automate. So before we build the Power Automate, let's look at a use case. We'll upload a document in a document library. A Power Automate should automatically trigger, split the documents and store it in the split destination document library. So without wasting any further time, let's create our solution. So I'll click on create and I'll create an automated flow. Next, I'll click on SharePoint and I'll select the trigger when a file is created or modified properties only. I'll select the site collection. I'll select the library, split demo. This looks good. Next, I need to get the SharePoint file content. So I'll type in SharePoint. I'll select the site address and I'll select the identifier. Identifier is the output of the trigger. Now that I have the file content and the file properties, it's time to split the document. To split the document, I'm going to use the Mohimbi action, split PDF. Here I need to pass in the file name. So file name will be the file name with extension, the output of the trigger. The file content will be the file content, the output of the get file action. So here, my friends, you can split by pages or you can split by bookmarks. You can also set up the split parameter. In this case, we will set it as one. For example, if you want to split it by two pages, you can split, you can set it to two. You can also specify a template file name. That is the file name that is being returned by the split action. However, we don't need it and we leave it as it is. Then finally, I need to create the file in SharePoint. So I'll select the SharePoint and I'll say create file. Perfect. I'll select the site address and I'll select the folder path. And here I'm going to give it the file name. So it's going to be the processed file name. It automatically decorates it into an apply to each loop because the output is an array and the file content will be the processed file content. So let me quickly give this Power Automate a meaningful name and let me save my flow and let me test my flow. So I'll upload the document real quick. Now that the file is uploaded, this should trigger my flow. Perfect, so my flow is running. In the meantime, let me quickly open the file and let me show you how the file looks like. The file has 12 pages, so it should create 12 individual pages. I also want to demonstrate how does it look when you split by bookmarks. We'll do it after the flow completes. Perfect. So our flow has completed. So this time we split by page number. So let me quickly refresh. And here you see you have got 12 pages that are being split. Isn't it awesome? Let's quickly modify our flow and make it split by bookmarks. So to do that, I'm going to add an action and let me actually create a folder. Right, so SharePoint folder, create a new folder. Here I'll give it the site address, here I'll give it the library name and I'll leave it as it is. So let's do a quick test with bookmarks as well. Let me quickly delete all the files that have been split and let me see how many bookmarks are present. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine bookmarks. Right, so we want to split by bookmarks. I'll go back into my Power Automate. I'll go into the split and I'll say split by bookmark level. I'll save my flow and I'll test my flow. This time I'm just going to use the previous run which succeeded. So I'll click on test and this should trigger my flow. As of now, you see the split destination is empty. So in this particular use case, we need to have nine documents with the bookmarks names in it. Perfect. So the split has completed. And as you see, you have nine bookmarks. That means you have got nine individual documents that are being created out here. And here, my friends, you see, you have got documents splitted with, with the bookmark names. If I dock it side by side, you'll see that resource depletion, abstract, and so on and so on. I hope this quick split demo was informative. Thank you for your time and bye-bye.